Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video might seem a little random, but I've been wanting to make it ever since my wedding and I don't know why I just kind of kept putting it off, but I think it's actually a good thing because it's now been over a year that I've been married. So I have had time to figure out which of my registry items I actually feel like were definitely worth putting on the list and that I'm just grateful that I registered for. So I'm gonna be sharing 10 items. Technically there are eight items that we were gifted and then two are like bonus items, which I'll get to at the end. But yeah, I just feel like this could be very helpful for anyone out there that is having to put together a registry list. I know there are a lot of like websites where you can go to just get the full list, but I found that a lot of the stuff on that like just didn't apply to me. Like it's stuff that I just knew I wouldn't really use. So these are just things that, you know, I put on my registry list and I'm very glad I did, and so I thought I would share it with you guys. All right, so let's start with the kitchen items, and number one has to be our Keurig. And it's funny because I actually asked my husband, like, what are some things that we registered for that you're really glad we did? And he also said the Keurig as like the first thing. And I think it's because it's something that we use so much, like we use it pretty much every single day. Um, he uses it in the morning to make his coffee before he goes off to work. I usually like an afternoon coffee, so that's when I use it. And it's just so like useful, you know, like he could get the flavors he likes, I could get the ones I like, and it's just amazing. And I feel like this is something that like, Maybe we would have gotten eventually on our own, but it is a little pricey, so I think we would have kept putting it off. So I'm really glad we did add it to our list and that we were gifted it. Everything I mentioned, I will link below, like the exact models and everything. So yeah, you can check it out if you want to add anything to your own registry list, or if you just want to buy it for yourself, that's cool too. All right, so the second item is our KitchenAid stand mixer. This was probably the first thing that like I wanted to add to my registry list. I just always had the dream of having like a white KitchenAid mixer and like baking all the time and stuff because I actually love to bake. And so I added it and I was gifted it and it's amazing. We use it all the time when we're baking and I just love it so much. It's definitely an investment. So again, the time, to do it is now like when you're adding things to your registry so number three i feel like is kind of a given but it's a set of pots and pans but i don't just mean any set i mean like a really good one i actually ended up getting gifted an amazing one i wasn't going to add it i remember i was looking at some stuff with my sister and we saw this set and it was really expensive however that day it was on sale and i was like well if i add it when someone goes to get it, it might not be on sale anymore. So my sister that day, without me knowing, she went ahead and ordered it for us, which I'm so grateful for. And it's just so good. And it's like we have pots and pans for anything we could possibly need. The quality is so nice. It's like nothing sticks. It's just, it's amazing. Also, it doesn't hurt that it's a very cute color. So speaking of sets, like I said, I do like to bake. So if you like to bake as well, this is something that I would add and it's a bakeware set. I feel like every time I bake something different, like it just needs a different type of like pan or whatever. So it's so nice to get a whole set because you could have like round cake ones, square ones, rectangular ones, cupcake tins, you know? So just getting a whole set and we actually also added like a decorating kit. You don't have to do that, you don't want to, but they're really cheap on Amazon. And yeah, just like a whole little baking set I find was just a really good addition to our registry. All right, so number five. I feel like this one is a random one. I think some people will like it. Some people maybe not so much, but it's a cereal dispenser. So I was looking at options of like ways to store cereal because I don't like keeping them in the box. And I was just gonna go for a regular little like container. And then I came across a cereal dispenser and I thought it was perfect because it comes with two. So I put Caleb's cereal, my cereal, and then you just cover it and it also has a little cover on the bottom so it doesn't like get stale and stuff. And then when you want cereal, you just put your bowl under and like twist the little thing and the cereal comes out. And it's such a, I don't know, maybe not everyone feels like they need this, but I just love it so much. Like every time I use it, I'm like, I'm so glad I added this to the list. I think it's so much easier than having to like go in the cupboard, get out a container, open it, you know, for it. It's just like, it's so simple. It's just like, just get some cereal. <laughs> also, I think it looks really cute in the kitchen too. Fun fact, 
I always notice it in the background of Big Bang Theory, like they have one in their kitchen at like Sheldon and Leonard's house. So if you watch that, you might have noticed it. It's a different color, I think, but yeah, it's basically the same one. All right, so moving away from the kitchen, the next item on the list is a vacuum cleaner. This is something that can also get pretty expensive. And I feel like everyone likes different types, so definitely do your research. I researched a lot of vacuum cleaners before choosing one. And yeah, I would add it to the list because most likely someone will get it for you and it'll just be really nice to not have to, you know, spend all that money on a vacuum cleaner. It may not be something very exciting for you, but it's definitely something you're going to need to clean your house. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a time to add something like that. Also, not on our registry list, but just want to say we actually do have a Roomba as well that we won at like an event for Caleb's job. And if you have cats or dogs that like shed a lot, that's actually really good. So maybe consider putting that as well. I don't think it replaces an actual vacuum cleaner because it just doesn't get in all the little nooks and crannies, but um, it's really good to just get rid of all that like random fur that's like <laughs> flying around the house. Ours is connected to our Alexa, so we just tell her to like turn it on randomly. And it's nice because then the floor always looks clean. But then every so often I go in with the vacuum cleaner and really clean everything. Well, I guess I didn't say which one we got, but it's a shark one. Like I said, I'll link everything below. Um, I don't think it's amazing, like even though I did a lot of research, I just didn't want to put one that was like way too expensive. I thought of putting the Dyson ones, but my issue was that a lot of those like have a very little, like a small canister or whatever they're called, or they're wireless and then I'm like, I don't want it to like die while I'm in the middle of vacuuming. But I thought about all that when we were living in a huge two-story house in Virginia and now I see that in this LA apartment that's way smaller, um, it definitely wouldn't die while I'm trying to vacuum. So maybe if I could go back, I would have put a Dyson one, but it still works, it's still good, and especially for the price, I think it's worth it. All right, next up on the list is towels. Um, I definitely think it's good to invest in good towels. Like, I feel like we had some that were just like, okay, I don't know if they were from Walmart, I think they were from Walmart, maybe Ikea, I'm not sure, they were all right. But I actually was in Macy's I think one day and I saw these towels and I like touched them and they felt so nice and they were really big. So I wrote down the name and I found them online to add to our registry and I'm so glad we did. We actually got like a couple of them and they're amazing. I love them so much, I definitely recommend these towels. So good. And actually, I think they were on sale online, which was really nice because they were, they're not expensive, I guess, but if you compare it to like the ones we were using, then yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I like really big towels and I hate when towels are small and I feel like I can't wrap it around myself properly. I don't know. Maybe not everyone cares as much, but if you like big towels and you like for them to be really soft, Definitely check these out. All right, so number eight is bedding. And bedding is obviously something you're gonna be using every single day, so you want it to be good. Like you're gonna be sleeping on it and everything, or even if it's like your comfort or whatever, you want it to look nice. So I definitely recommend um, choosing some bedding that you really like and that's really nice quality. We actually got a like comforter set with like the shams, I believe they're called. Um, I think it was from Target and it wasn't like very expensive, but it was just so pretty. It was like their hotel one. So I definitely wanted that hotel look and feel. And then we also got the sheets from there. We got two different ones. Um, obviously we had some other ones already, but we just wanted some nice new fresh ones. So we got some in white, we got some in gray. And yeah, if you are really picky about your sheets, then now is the time to add in some really good ones and just hope that someone's gonna buy them for you. I personally am not very picky with sheets, so that's why I didn't go for one with like a million thread counts. But um, yeah, if that's something that's important to you, think about that, do your research, and add that into your registry. All right, so onto the last two items. Like I said, they're bonus items because technically we weren't gifted them like from our registry. But the first one is an air fryer. I was definitely going to add this to our registry, but 
We actually had a roommate living with us in Virginia who when he moved, he just left his for us. So we kept it. But if that hadn't happened, I would have 100% added that to the registry. And after like living with this stuff for a year, I will say that the air fryer is probably the kitchen item other than the Keurig that we use the most. It's just so handy. Like we make so many different things in there and it's so good because you're not like actually frying stuff and getting oil in it and all that. So it's a much healthier way of eating some fried food. <laughs> you can put frozen food in there obviously and like cook it that way. But what I like to do personally is to get like little potatoes and like just cut them up into basically like little fries and then throw it in there and then I'm basically having french fries but there's no oil or anything. They're not frozen and processed and all that stuff. So it's like healthy fries. If you didn't know, I have like a fry obsession. So having a healthy way of eating fries has been amazing. But yeah, if you've never used an air fryer before, look into it. It is amazing. The amount of stuff you can cook in it is just endless. The possibilities are endless. So yeah, definitely check that out. I 100% recommend that. All right, so the last item is actually something that we had put on our registry, but we removed it because we ended up finding it ourselves for a really good deal. So we just like bought it and that's a luggage set. Most people are gonna be traveling right after their wedding to go on their honeymoon. So that's something that's really important to have. I feel like a lot of people don't think about that until they need it. So definitely add that if you don't already own some luggage. If you've ever looked into this, you know it's not cheap. So getting a set I feel like is definitely a good idea. And yeah, just search the web for some deals. Like I said, we ended up seeing a really good deal. So we just went ahead and bought it because we didn't want to risk not getting gifted it. And then we were going to travel like right after the wedding. So that's something we wanted to like be guaranteed. <laughs> so yeah, we got a set that came with like two big ones and a small one, I believe. I already had a little like carry-on. So this set was perfect because then Caleb had a carry-on and we each had like a big one and it just worked perfectly. So I guess that concludes my list of things that I'm very glad I registered for. And I hope this is helpful to those of you that are trying to put together your registry list. Um, let me know if there's anything that I didn't mention that you are super glad you registered for. I always love seeing like what other people use more. Like I feel like a lot of people like crock pots and stuff like that. I personally don't use that, but you know, everyone's different. And I just hope that at least these recommendations can maybe, you know, help a little. Like you can look into it and see if it's something that would fit your lifestyle. I'm actually gonna try to link my like full registry list below because I personally think there are a lot of cute items, especially when it comes to home decor. So if you have like a similar style to mine, then I think you might enjoy a lot of the things. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I actually have a few more like wedding related videos. If you want to check that out, I'll put the playlist below in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Bye.